Hey guys, so today we're going to do yet again another first impressions video. I know I'm doing a lot of these lately, but I figured they're really helpful and I promise I'm going to have more tutorials for you soon. Uh, today we're going to be doing a review on CoverGirl Bombshell Mascara. And I'm really excited to use it. This is a volumizing mascara. It's supposed to give you big sexy bombshell lashes. It has two ends. One end is for volumizing and then number two side is to intensify your lashes. So as you can see, I did my makeup already. I have everything done except for my mascara. I know a lot of people either hate or love the packaging. I think it's really cute. I know that it's a lot bigger than maybe most mascaras and I don't know. I like it. I like the bright color. I I'm not complaining about it, but I did uh, tight line my eyes though, so just, you know, to give it a little something. If you don't know what that means, it means that I did line the upper waterline and I also did the lower waterline too. I will start off by curling my lashes. No matter what mascara I use, I curl my eyelashes. So let's do that. And you guess it, I'm running late as always. That's something about me. I'm always running late, but I always make it there on time, no matter what. So I'm going to start off by doing one eye and then comparing it to the bare eye. Well, not bare, but you know. Let's start off with the one side. Ooh, okay. That's what the brush looks like. Focus. Pretty nice. I really like CoverGirl mascaras because I do have very sensitive eyes and to be honest it seems like the things that don't irritate my eyes tend to be drugstore brand. I was using Maybelline a lot and I kind of branched out into CoverGirl and I've used their Clump Crusher before and I love it, love 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 it. That one I wore on my wedding day actually because I was really liked it a lot. Ooh, so I'm really, really liking this. I feel like it separated my lashes very nicely. I don't know if you can tell. Let's do the bottom. And then we're gonna apply the number two right over that, but I don't know if you can see. Very nice. And this is number two. Focus. Mm. Number two. Let's try that again so you can see. There we go. Bristles. So this is more of like the more natural bristles, not the synthetic one like the number one side. Which I I think is good because if you do know me personally, you, you know that I'm very indecisive. I like having both the uh, synthetic bristles and the option to have the natural bristles. I like having to use both of them. You're not making me choose, so it's making my life easier. I'd rather do an extra up and have to make another choice. Rambling. So pretty. I really like this mascara. Um, I know a lot of people think it's, oh, it just broke my eye. Ooh. It's a uh, lengthening and they don't really get much volume, but I feel like you get both. I feel like you get the length and the volume because my eyelashes do look fuller, but they do look a little bit longer too, but I definitely see the volume in there. No? I mean, I do. It's a little more. I like it a lot. So this is with nothing and this is with the bombshell. I mean, it definitely separated my lashes and it did make them look fuller and longer. I'm excited. I always like trying new mascaras, but look, you can tell. Look how big my eyes look over here and they just look kind of tired here. So we're, let's do the other side. We're gonna do number one first. Uh, okay, this is hard to do in here. Mm. Do like I like the formula. I do. You can definitely feel it on your lashes, so I don't know if it's gonna weigh your lashes down if you do have longer lashes. It's really hard to do it like this, you guys. Alright. I just don't want to have my face turned away for too long, but... Again, so this is just... Number one. Let's put the number two right over it. Number two. Where's the side? 
I can't decide if it's like my new favorite, but I really do enjoy it. Wiggle wiggle. Ooh. And I got some on my brow bone. You'd think by now that I'd be able to do it without getting mascara all over my face, but it happens. If you're not used to layering your mascara, you have to be careful of it getting clumpy and like spidery and stuff like that. So being that this is a mascara that's meant to be layered, it does take getting used to. I don't know, what do you guys think? My eyes are very sensitive and I don't feel any sort of irritation or anything. But I feel like it definitely did a lot. It opened up my eyes, made my eyelashes look fuller, longer. I really like it. My coconut oil. And I think you can really tell when I did the one side and not the other. Just how well it works. I'm very happy with it. I always have one eye come out better than the other and it's always, always, always happening. Do you guys have to deal with that? Because I do. Like this side looks beautiful. This is like so so. Look, I feel like it really opened it up. And it separated my lashes because I don't like clumpy lashes at all. It separated them, but it gave it fullness at the same time, which is hard to find because I feel like most mascaras that separate tend to be lengthening mascaras, but this, I feel like it gives you both. So I think it's it gives you bombshell lashes, so put a little bit more on my lower lashes to be honest. And this is, what, the third or fourth time of me opening it? And I'm like, which side does the one come out of? It's the middle. Mm. Always remember to wiggle, wiggle. That helps separate your lashes better. Okay, so, so far so good. No irritation on my sensitive eyes. Lengthened my lashes. Definitely made them look fuller. And you can see that's like without any top liner that helps make your lashes have the illusion of being more full. So I'm gonna wear it throughout the day, see how it, how it feels, if there's any flaking. I'll check in on the end of the night. I like it. Woohoo! Bombshell lashes. It's 9.24 right now. All right, so it's the end of the night. It's 8.35 and a couple of things before I actually go in and take the mascara off and see how that works out. Few things I did forget to mention. Price, I serious, I don't remember it. <laughs> so I'll enter the price somewhere around here. And this comes with 10 milliliters. So 0.33 fluid ounces. And the color that I got was very black. Let's see how it wore. I actually, okay, so I still have, I didn't even realize until now because I haven't looked in the mirror like at all today. Even though I work at a hair salon where there's mirrors everywhere. Um, I still have where I accidentally hit my brow bone, so I guess that's a good sign because that didn't go anywhere, so it probably didn't go anywhere from my lashes. Stayed pretty well, no flaking or anything. Again, my eyes aren't bothered by it and I have very sensitive eyes. I think my eyelashes still look good. Let's see how well it comes off. Alright, it like is not coming off. Which is good. You don't want makeup that's gonna come off right away because you really gotta put a little muscle into it to get it off. But like I said, I mean, it means that it stayed on your lashes and that mascara did not go anywhere. So if you don't mind, you know, working a little extra to take it off, it's great. You want something that's long wear and you know it's gonna last for hours, that's fine. I don't even know if I got it all off. It's like, it's still on there. Something to be mindful of if you know that you're at that point where you want to come home and just do a quick one, two, three makeup off. Maybe you shouldn't use this mascara then for that night. Or if you want to wake up looking, I'm just kidding, take your makeup off before you go to bed, guys. Okay, I mean, it's really sticking on there, which is good. Your eyelashes are gonna be bombshell eyelashes all day and all night, maybe even the next morning. No, it's not terrible. It has great durability. It lasts all day. No flaking. Um, just be careful with the application because, like I said, I messed up a little bit and hit my brow bone. And I thought I kind of tapped a little bit away that you couldn't see it. But nope, it was still on there. How many hours later? And again, with my sensitive eyes, 
even taking it off and I'm like rubbing them, which I know I probably shouldn't be rubbing my eyes like this. My eyes are not irritated by it at all. So, yay! I'm not sure if this is my new favorite, but I definitely like it if I want a little extra something. Bombshell mascara, I like it, it's good.